this rain, all of this exact rain falling here in Vancouver, we're getting more information about these kinds of soakers than ever before with hurricane hunters. What was once reserved for the biggest and baddest storms on Earth is now being used on atmospheric rivers like this one. And it's changing how well we can forecast extreme rain, flooding, and landslides, sometimes days earlier, in a way that's never been done before. I'll explain. For over 80 years, scientists have been flying specially outfitted aircraft, essentially flying laboratories, straight into the eye of hurricanes, built to handle the toughest conditions, collecting data that satellites can't. These planes are piloted by some of the most experienced aviators in the world. Crews from the U.S. Air Force Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, famously nicknamed the Hurricane Hunters. Their reputation, legendary among meteorologists. But these planes aren't just chasing hurricanes anymore. They're now flying into massive rain-producing storms called atmospheric rivers, like this one, drenching Vancouver. They have their hurricane mission throughout the summer and fall, but during the winter, we have atmospheric rivers up across the Pacific, of course, and they can be really helpful for those. Atmospheric rivers deliver most of the West Coast rain and snow in a year, but they're also behind our biggest floods, landslides, and thanks to climate change, some of our hardest to predict weather. And that's exactly why scientists are chasing them out at sea. As the planes fly through the storm, they release instruments called dropsons, weather scanners that fall through the atmosphere, measuring temperature, pressure, wind, and how much water vapor the storm is carrying, like taking an MRI of the storm itself. By measuring these storms offshore, forecasters can better predict how strong they'll be, where they'll hit, and how much rain and snow they'll unload. And that means earlier warnings, better flood preparation, and smarter decisions before the rain starts. In the western U.S., for some cases, we can see up to a 20% improvement in that forecast. And then overall, in um, some seasons, uh, we see up to like a 10% improvement in those same regions. And that's a pretty huge improvement um, over just a, a year period. It often, it, I think 10% relates to like how much a model might improve over a 10 year period. And these river hunters, okay, that nickname hasn't stuck yet, will soon be deployed everywhere. This winter, the reconnaissance program is going global. Flights are expanding into the Atlantic with more ocean buoys and international partners feeding into the weather models. The goal is to extend reliable forecasts beyond that one week limit. So more time to prepare for atmospheric rivers that are becoming more intense in a warming world.